Hello, my name is Roman. I'm working at Zama as a machine learning engineer and more specifically in the concrete ML team. So this tutorial is about how to easily convert a scikit-learn model into its concrete ML1. This will let you be able to run an inference privately using FHE with no cryptographic knowledge. So in order to show you that, we use this credit score uh, notebook that you can actually find on Kaggle. Um, so here it is. You can also download the data uh, here. Um, you will need to install some libraries, so uh, computer mail latest version, for example, but also GraphViz. But once you've done that, you're basically ready to go. Um, so the first steps in this notebook are pre-processing the data, uh, so uh, cleaning the data, uh, plotting some distributions. We are not going to go into details into that because th these steps are exactly identical. Uh, computer ML only works on the model itself, not the data. So we are going straight through the steps where we actually import this model. So um, here it is. Basically, any data, uh, data scientist knows how to use scikit-learn, and ConcreteML is very similar in terms of API. If you want to use ConcreteML instead of scikit-learn here, uh, you only need to change affluent lines. So in this case, here it is. Um, so now you have your logistic regression model. You can instantiate it the same way. Uh, just so you know, there is an additional parameter called nbit um, that you can set. Uh, this uh, parameter is used for quantization. Uh, this is because under the hood, uh, computer ML models are quantized. They use quantized weights and inputs. Uh, you, they actually use this parameter to quantize these values. But in our case, the default value, 8, is more than enough to get really good results. Um, so once the model is uh, instantiated, you can train it the same way as you would do in scikit-learn. You can also access some uh, attributes the same way. Uh, but then before being able to run the inference, you will need to add this compilation step. So Compilation step is very easy to do. You just need to call compile on the training set. You can also use a subset of it to make it a bit quicker. This step basically builds the underlying a feature circuit that is used to run the FHE inference. So this is necessary to execute the inference uh, using fully homomorphic encryption. Uh, once you've done that, uh, the model can run in FHE, but you'll need to set the newly created parameter FHE into its execute mode. Uh, and that's it. Uh, basically, now you have a logistic regression model in CocoTML that can be executed in FHE. Um, just so you know, also, this predict method packs a few other methods under the hood. So there's some quantization and dequantization steps, as well as uh, encryption of inputs or decryption of outputs. And of course, there's the execution, the actual ex execution in FHE inside it. Uh, so here I executed it. Uh, it took a few seconds. That is because FHE is a bit longer, but also because we don't use batches. So each sample are executed one by one in the predict method. But here it is, here are the results. You can see that if we compare them to the scikit-learn results, uh, the values are very close to each other, uh, as well as for the scores. Uh, so that's it for a logistic regression model. Uh, we have several several other linear models in uh, ConcreteML, uh, but we also have some tree-based models. So for example, here, this is the decision tree classifier. Um, so I've already changed uh, the same things as we've done before. So we import it from ConcreteML, we train it, compile it, and uh, this time, uh, predicted but using simulation 
this is a feature that uh, lets us be able to compute the results so exactly the same as you would have in FHE but in a much quicker way so for example with tree based models uh, the inference is longer than with the linear models so having being able to simulate the results is very useful for debugging and developing for example so you can see here the simulation only takes a few seconds um, and we get these results um, so here we have some scores we have the confusion matrix we can compare it to the ones that we get with psychic learn and we can see that uh, similarly they have most of the time the same results they are very close to each other um, so here it is where i showed you uh, an example of a linear model classifier as well as a tree based one we also have some neural networks in CoquitML. most of the time the main steps uh, are the same as in this tutorial they're very close to what we are used to with scikit-learn um, so i hope you enjoy the video and uh, see you soon